Hello, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, my favorite day out of the week. Welcome to this episode of Dear Cheekies, where I answer your questions. It could be about anything that you're facing, any hardship could be something you're happy about and you need some advice on friendships, relationships, finances, anything and everything. Your girl Cheekies got you. And today we have an episode with brand new questions that I have not heard, by the way. I don't listen to any of the questions until I listen to them with you guys right here. So everything I have to say is on the fly and I'm speaking from the heart, okay? So let's kick it off. Let's start with Isa. Hey, Cheekies. I hope you're doing well. I freaking adore you and your whole family, the Riveras. I freaking adore love, 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 love your mother. Your mother has inspired me so much. You, you don't understand. I even freaking named my dog Cheekies, like <laughs> Thanks. my little Yorkie Cheekies. But I do have a relationship question. I'm 26. I have been in a relationship for about 10 years. We're going on 11 soon. And I just feel like he just emotionally isn't there anymore. I do try to tell him like, you know, you do need help. He doesn't want to go get that help. Anytime I do say, like, oh, I want, I would love flowers to show, like, you appreciate me. All of a sudden, I get called entitled. I tell him, like, I want to go on dates here and there. Unfortunately, for some reason, I'm entitled. And I just, I just don't know what to do anymore, Cheekies. I'm just like, how, how much more can I take of this, you know? And I just wanted to see what your opinion is. Like, he's totally emotionally unavailable. Like, he'll go out with anybody and everybody except for me. He's seen the world. I haven't. And still yet doesn't want to do anything with me. So, tu me dice. Love you, girly. Thank you. Oh, mama. I love you, too. Um, Okay, I'm going to be real with you right now. Isa, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be 100. This is the feeling that I'm getting as I'm listening to your question. The feeling that I get is that he is comfortable. He is taking you for granted. He is checked out emotionally. Um, And there was another one and I forgot. But the point is that in a relationship, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to communicate. We are constantly evolving. We are changing, especially if you guys met, you said 10, 11 years ago, you were 15, 16. How old is he? I don't know his age, but we go through so many changes, especially when we are leaving our teens into our 20s. Like we change so much. So I think what is happening is that he's comfortable. He is taking the relationship for granted. It's no longer a priority for him. And it's kind of like, and I don't know if this sounds harsh, but it's kind of like, well, let me just have you there because I'm used to you. La costumbre is más fuerte que el amor. I think he's just used to you. So it's kind of like, okay, I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to go see the world. And he has you there because you're his comfort. To the point where he's not, and he's no longer feeding and making that plant grow. You are depleted, it seems like, of love. And that's what we need. And that's, I think, you know it. You just don't know how to get yourself out of the situation because probably it's like, oh, well, he hasn't cheated. He's not hitting me. He's not this. Like, yes, but are you getting what you need out of the relationship? That's a question that only you can answer. If you ask me, I feel like you're not. I feel like he's not loving you the way you want to be loved. He's not taking you out on dates and you're telling him and it's how, how does he say that you're entitled? Um, Hello, I'm a woman. I'm a woman that wants to be conquistada. I want to be courted. I want to be romanced. And, and it's not just one way. We, we also, as women, have to do our part. It can't just be we expect the man to bring flowers and all this stuff. Like, maybe try it before you are like, okay, forget this relationship. Maybe you should try that and say, hey, I'm going to surprise him at work with, I don't know, his favorite treat or his favorite drink or I don't know. I mean, those are things that we need to do in a relationship on both on both ends in order to keep that spice that you know excitement going you know but it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel right as I was listening to you I'm just like you know Isa you know that you're not happy and you probably just don't know because you're also just so used to him but are your are your needs as a woman being fulfilled you have to ask yourself that (sighs) I don't know I'm just I don't know I hope he gets his act together and realizes what he has and Maybe it was just a season. 
and maybe there's something new for both of you. And that's a harsh reality to face, but you both have to be honest with each other. Yes, have that conversation, babe. Okay, guys, so the next question comes from Janeth. Hi, Chiquis. I just want to say that I have so much love for you and I truly admire your strength in continuing as an individual through all the adversities, all the tribulations. You have been so resilient and perseverant. Eres una mujer de oro, um, and that is priceless. También como un diamante. Have a quote that says, um, no matter what a diamond goes through, how dirty it gets, or the pressure still shines no matter what. But for me, my question is, um, you know, since we watched I Love Jenny and, you know, Jiggies and Chill and everything, when you first had to move, I remember that was something that was a little, like, scary trying to navigate it. But then at the same time, you, like, made it happen. And I'm currently in that boat. I'm super young. I'm 20. And I want to move out from home just because there's a lot of things that I feel that at home I can't uh, do myself and that's not to put like family in a negative light but it's just you can't really freely express yourself sometimes in an Hispanic household and I just kind of wanted to ask you for your advice on how to like navigate that situation and what would be your tips for like somebody moving out and getting their first apartment I will have roommates so it's gonna help alleviate some of the expenses but um yeah what's your advice and um I kind of want to start a podcast. I just kind of want to have some like tips from you as well. But anyway, that's all I had. I love you so much. Te mando un abrazo. And thank you for all you do. Mm, Janet, you seem like a very um, wise beyond your years type of girl because you're 20 years old and I'm like listening to you speak and I'm just like, okay, to me, you feel ready to move out. Um, it's not going to be as easy as you may think, but that's okay. That's what's going to help you grow. Um I was, I think, what, 26 when I moved out uh, and I was forced because <laughs> I did it. I was so comfortable, but I'm so glad I did because it helped me like understand the value of of money, of making my own and how I spend it. And I just learned so much about myself. The good thing is you're going to have roommates um, and I get it. I get what you're saying as far as like family and I think what your soul is is saying right now, it's like saying, I, I want to grow. I want to expand. I want to widen my horizons. And in order to do that, you need to step into this like unknown place that is scary, but that's where you're going to grow the most, you know, so that you're able to really flourish and figure out who you really are, you know, and not necessarily have the ideas or the traditions or whatever it is because our family we love our family as latinos we're very close but sometimes what they believe in and what they think what we should and shouldn't do bleeds into us and we're not able to just be who we are meant to be so i think that that's what your soul is asking and i think that you should definitely honor that and leave on a good note with your family and just you know Hopefully they don't take it personally, but just say this is something that I want to do. It was very hard for me when Jenica at 18 wanted to move out. But now I see her at what, 26 and she's doing so well. Like, I'm just like, wow, she felt it in her heart to move out and she did it. And I, I admire that, you know, so it wasn't easy. And your family probably won't take it that well in the beginning. But if you're a responsible young lady and you do what you got to do, they'll be fine with time now. The best advice I can give you as far as moving out and the good thing, like we said, you're going to have roommates. It's always just budgeting yourself and just making sure that you put some money on the side from every paycheck for a rainy day for a what if we just don't know what will happen tomorrow, you know, um, so taking care of that. And just budgeting yourself, knowing that, OK, this is what I need from my rent and I have X amount of money a month to play with. And be realistic with that so that you don't get yourself into trouble. Sometimes you're going to have to tell your friends, hey, I can't go out because you have responsibilities. Now you have utility bills. Now you have rent you have to cover. You know, you got to feed yourself. All that stuff is a priority now. So there are other things you're going to have to stop doing in order to make sure that your priorities are met. OK, so this is all going to be an adjustment period. And it's just putting everything on a balance and making sure that you respect that, you know. But as far as a podcast, do it, girl. Do it. Don't live with the what if. Do it. Put it on YouTube. We have social media. Like, send it to me. I'll repost it. But do it. I feel like you have a very nice voice for a podcast. So I believe in you. Do it. Our last question comes from, okay, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Sitlali. Sitlali. A ver. Let's see. 
Hey Cheekies, my name is Itlali and I just wanted to say that I was recently listening to your Dear Cheekies episode where somebody um, asked you about painting your mom in a negative light and I just wanted to say it's amazing how you know you have so much grace and so much patience for questions that come up like that or comments that come up like that and just the way that you respond is just so graceful all the time and um, I think a lot of us can agree with, you know, it shouldn't take away from your human experience and your experience with your mother. Anyways, my question to you is I recently had a disagreement with a friend and we talked about it and, you know, all is good. Um, However, during that talk, she did mention to me that it was difficult for her to be my friend or for her to be friends with somebody like me. Um, just meaning that like she just kind of wanted more out of um, where I was at and my friendship with her Um, and my rebuttal to that was kind of you know I had my own things going and you know whatever we talked it out and you know we're friends now and totally okay Um, another friend of mine said that she felt that that friend was completely out of line and she shouldn't have said something like that and she should and people should never say that to their friends and question their friendship. But I think it's fair because I think it's just being honest about where you're at in the relationship and in the friendship. So just want to know what you think about that. See, Lali, I did pronounce it kind of right. Um, you have a very nice name, by the way. Um, well, first of all, thank you so much for showing me grace. Um Uh, Yeah, I didn't know how people were going to take that answer, but I just had to be honest. And that's what I can. That's all I can be. Um, If you catch me on a good day, which is most days, I think that I'm trying my best to be in a good in a good mood, Um, especially if I align myself in the morning. So I just don't let other people. So people have asked me so many questions and have said so many bad things about me that I know aren't true, that I think I'm just kind of like, ah, me viene, you know. But I think if you were to catch me on one of those days, ooh, girl. But most of the time, I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay aligned. I got to be a good person in the world. I got to lead by example. But I, could be, I get pissed sometimes, too. Ooh, girl, I'm scared of myself when I'm mad. But anyways, that's a whole other thing. I just kind of wanted to touch, you know, a little bit on what you said. Um, in regards to your question about your friend, I think that it's okay. I think if you had an open conversation with this friend and you guys were honest and she was able to tell you that straight up, I think that's good. I don't think there's anything wrong with the friend saying, hey, I feel like you're not really the friend or being the friend that I need. And you opened up that conversation. So you were asking. So you got your answer. So I don't think there's a problem with that. I don't know how she said it. Again, I always tell you guys this. It's all in how we deliver our message. It's not what you say is how you say it. So I don't know if she said it in a rude way. It doesn't sound like she did. But I think that that's a good friend to have around. Someone that's going to tell you straight up like, hey, I don't agree with this or you're hurting my feelings with this. And they're able to tell you and not talk behind your back. And then when you come to them like, hey, did you say this? And they're like, oh, no, no, no. You always want honesty, even if it makes you uncomfortable. I think that that's a beautiful thing. And that's a beautiful thing to have in a friendship is someone that could tell you, hey, this or that or blah, blah, blah. So that's my opinion. And that's what I think. So you guys. I just want to say thank you to everyone because I was having a funky day and just listening to you guys and tell me all these beautiful things. It makes me emotional because sometimes like we don't realize how blessed we are. And I think we get so stressed out with the world and everything that's happening that you're like, ah, I'm doing something good in the world, you know? So thank you guys for reminding me. I'm getting emotional because it's, I don't know, it's not even my period. I don't know what the hell's going on, but something in the air, because I know I'm not the only one that's feeling this way. But thank you. Thank you guys for your questions and thank you for the beautiful things that you guys say to me. You remind me. I'm on the right track. It's okay. Ah, Anyways, you guys, I just got emotional, right? (laughs) But this is my safe place and I'm able to do that. So I love you guys. And if you have a question, Anyone that's listening and you've never like had the courage or you feel a little embarrassed or I don't know, you haven't taken that step to leave your question. This is your sign to do it. Okay. Ask me anything. Literally, you can ask me anything. It could be about my personal life. Literally anything. Leave your question at speakpipe.com slash cheekies and chill podcast. Los quiero mucho with all of my heart. Thank you so much for your love and for listening to Dear Cheekies and also Cheekies and Chill. I love you guys. 
This is a production of iHeartRadio and My Cultura Podcast Network. Follow us on Instagram at My Cultura Podcasts and follow me, Chiquis, that's C-H-I-Q-U-I-S. For more podcasts from iHeart, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your favorite shows.